Hello everyone, and welcome to Grumpy Dragon Gaming. I am your irritable and moderately vulgar host, Grumpy Dragon, coming at you live from the Grumpy Dragon Xbox One Center dedicated server. Now in our last episode, I went and got myself a dung beetle, and we've been trying to work on getting the garden going so that we can get some higher up tames. Um, I figured today we'd go ahead and start to get this crafting building a little more in place and get some... Uh, some greenhouse glass built up so that we can actually get the greenhouse effect on our uh, on our thing. What's it? Oh crap! We got we got trouble. Hang on. Fat Fat Bob needs my help. I'm coming, Fat Bob. Trike, I got him. Kick your ass, Trike. That that. All right, there we go. Fat Bob has been saved. Now, as I was saying, I think it was about time for us to go ahead and get our greenhouse glass created uh, to get the greenhouse effect on the on the uh, plants so that we can get better growth faster growth and uh, quicker production and it makes our fertilizer last longer uh, our dung beetle should be what the hell why is our dung beetle not creating I'm gonna take all this out of there let's pick him up and throw him now let's go ahead and Stop moving. Let's unclaim. Reclaim. Put the poop back on him. We got battle music again. I think Fabulous fighting something else is in our area. Let's go ahead and re enable wandering. Alright, that should get him to create. Sometimes they get jammed up when you put them in a box. It's better to just let them wander the ground, but. What the hell's. What's the fighting? What's, what's going on? Fabo, where's the fighting at? What, what, where? Oh, Maganur Nurse. Get him! Fight the Maganur Nurse! Get him? Okay. Alright, I think we got him. Alright. Let's go ahead and fill the rest of these. Let's see if we can. We should probably switch out. Let's see if I can get some, some of these small poops. Switch it out with these mediums. Might be what's going on with this dung beetle. Is that all he's got in here is medium poops. I don't know, these dung beetles are touchy guys sometimes. They really don't want to always produce whenever you whenever you get them going, especially when you can find them. Like I said, they work better when you keep them in the open. You don't actually can find them, but they do. They will eat your freaking passed out tribe members. And they will uh, wander off and just start, you know, attacking around things. And I don't have the area sealed off just yet, so I don't have it available to where we can just let them roam the, the grounds and not have to worry about them. There we go. Now we've got two small poops on them. Let's go ahead and check out the... We'll go put these poops away. I gotta get that guy working before I worry about putting these poops in there. Alright. Now, like I was saying, I think it's time for us to go ahead and get some work done on this base. I wanna get some, or the crafting building. I wanna go ahead and get the uh, the walls built up so we can get the greenhouse effect on this. Now that we got the plants started, cause see this guy's only, what is he? He's only a seedling. The rest of my plants got going up, but it'll be easier to get these guys going if I can get some greenhouse effects. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to craft up a bunch of walls and some door frames to line the area. And I'm also going to get a bunch of crystal so that we can make all the uh, all the parts we need to get this thing going. And then I will be right back. And I'm back. I've gone ahead and crafted up a few of the walls. Um, I'm trying to figure out how much exactly we need in order to get the full percent. Because you can get up to 300% greenhouse effect. And at 300% you get the greatest uh, reduction of fertilizer use and the quickest plant growth. Uh, right now I'm crafting up some ceilings. I'm going to get these crafted up and then put them up and see where we're sitting at. Uh, to see if we have enough. Because the way the greenhouse glass works 
is based on the number of greenhouse glass or greenhouse glass you actually have connected to one another. So they don't actually technically have to be over top of your plants. They just all have to be connected together. Uh, and as long as you have enough pieces connected together, you then get the greenhouse effect uh, maxed out. Now I'm not sure exactly how much we need. Uh, I'm gonna have to test that whenever I get over there. Uh, but right now, uh, I think I have almost enough. I know I'm pretty close, but we're gonna go ahead and go put these last ones up and see where we at. Cause the walls I put up, and the first level of glass was not enough. Let's see if this guy is producing yet. He is not. Let's see if I can tempt him by opening the door. Hopefully he'll then go for the door. All right, now see, I've already got these walls put up and this first set of greenhouse glass put up. Let me get these other ones attached here. And then we will test how much... Oh, there we go. All right, let's see how much we're getting. Uh, I think it's got to take a second to show. Okay, there we go. We got 270, so we're close. I think I'm just gonna need two more pieces of glass. We'll probably do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hatch up, because I want to. I'm gonna want to keep my birds on top of here until we build our larger base. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put a hatch right there. Uh, I think I've already got one built up. Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and use. I'll put a hatch right there, and then I'll use these other two spots for greenhouse glass. And see as they're connected, even though they're not going to be over anything, as soon as they're connected to the plants below, it'll then give us the increased greenhouse effect. I think that'll give us our 300%, and we won't need any more after that. I've already gotten the walls and the door frames up to line this area up. So I think what I'm going to do now is... Let me go ahead and fill my water up. Need to do a little bit of organization in here. I need to get to that back door, that that one right there. I got. To, we put this cooking pot in here so we can craft up some. We wanted to go after a high level pterodon today. <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, that's not what I need to get into. Damn it. All right. Get these poops. Let me see if this dung beetle's been doing anything. He's still in the same spot. I don't think he's actually moving. See, he's still messed up. Go ahead and put these in here. Let me open this door and see if I can tempt him to get out of it. There you go, bud. You're free. No, seriously, you're free. Go on. Come on. See, the door's open. You're free. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, maybe now he'll start working. I'm going to go ahead and gather up what I need left for the rest of this building, and then I will be right back. And I'm back. I worked on that building for about two or three hours. Got really bored. Freaking Sting, or Fat Bob, said that he had gotten everything he needed to craft or to get us a high-level pterodon. So now we're out here looking for high-level pterodons. There's lots of pterodons on this island, they're all over the freaking place, so I'm trying to find... Damn it. So fast. Where'd you go? You are... No. And you are... Not bad. Now Fat Bob's already down here looking for different things. I'm down here as well helping him. I figured, you know, we just look together, try to find, because he's got all the kibble we need for a max level tame. Oh, what are you? Yeah, not quite what I'm looking for. We're trying to find as high to a 150 as the max on the server, so we're trying to find a high level as to 150 as we can. Uh, if we can find a 150, that'd be great. The odds of us finding one are slim to none, but you know, we, we always gotta try to shoot for the highest amount that we can. Now, he's around here somewhere. Are you Fat Bob? There you are. Alright, he's over there looking. I'm gonna come back over here. What's up, Mr. Trike? Snatch! Gotcha! 
All right, now I got Fat Bob. We're a little bit slower, but I got him with me. He's gonna. I'm just gonna fly around. And he's gonna look at all the different pterodons. That way, it stops me from having to look at them all. This way, we'll be able to go through the pterodons quicker and locate a higher level one faster. Cause it's just easier for him to look while he's below me. Uh, I mean, I'm still gonna look at a few of them because there's just so many everywhere. Uh, but we're definitely gonna try to find this high level pterodon that we need. It's it's uh, what we need in order to get done. This pterodon I have is just crap. It's not a fighter. We need a fighter so we can level ourselves up and get to the better gear. Start to actually go take on some better tames. We're going to look for a higher level pterodon and we will be right back. And we're back. And you're too fucking heavy, Fat Bob. You wait there. Now, over here, we found a higher level pterodon. I think he was a 135. He was over here somewhere. Is that him? Or is that him? It's one of these two. Is it you? Yeah, okay. So there's our 135. Let's see. I need to get my bolos down here. Let's see if we can bolo this guy. He's on the ground, so it shouldn't be too hard. Oh, no, don't take off. Oh, no, stop. Ah, oh, crap, I missed. Okay, I'll get you. You just wait. Oh, and that was a horrible throw. And I'm out of bolos. Well, great. Um, Alright, so I'm going to keep track of this guy. Fat Bob's on his way over. He's got bolos, too. Hopefully he'll be able to get him. I didn't have any freaking luck. Alright, Fat Bob sees him. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to craft up... Which, let's see, I need... Melee. No, no, no. Ranged. There we go. I need more stone. Alright. Give me some stone so I can craft some more bullets. We can help Fat Bob take this guy down. This is going to be Fat Bob's pterodon, but we'll just go ahead and find myself another one later. Craft up some bolos. Get over here and see if we can help Fat Bob take this guy down. Oh, walking while you're crafting is so freaking slow. You jump on my pterodon. Oh, I'm too heavy. What the shit? I need to craft something. Hang on. There we go. Alright, that should free us up. And we're free. And Fat Bob's already. Okay, you've already got it down. Sweet. Well, I did see a Lestaurus on the side of the island here. I think I'm going to tame it up. Let's see. Got that guy. Alright, you got that under control. Let me take these rare flowers. Now these Lestauruses, they help level creatures faster. You can pet them and they'll level them up. And all you gotta do is put rare flowers in your last slot. And then feed them. You just stick them right up the butt. Flowers in the butt. There we go. Alright, bud. Follow me over here. We got our greenhouse glass done. We have a new pterodon taming up. We have a Lestaurus now. So we are definitely on our way to bigger and better things. I always thank you guys for joining me. If you're gonna game... Game Grumpy, and I'll see you next time, guys.